Hey guys, today I'm doing a little tutorial on how to half the memory usage of KSP. Um, I'd like to preface this by saying um, I learned this from Bob Fitch, who has a YouTube channel and it's called Bob Fitch. I'll probably link it in the description, but you can basically just type it in. Um, you should check him out if you like KSP, like KSP videos, and he does a lot of stuff with Real Solar System. Very cool stuff. If you've ever seen any of my Real Solar System stuff or any of my KSP stuff, and like that sort of stuff, but would like to see someone who's much better than me, you should definitely go check him out. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get right into it. Um, so, as you probably know, um, KSP takes up a lot of memory. Uh, and this is because, basically, KSP just loads everything into memory, or is basically all of the components into memory, which isn't very smart, and I'm not sure if it's Unity, or just devs not thinking it through, I'm not sure. Um, and, but there is a way you can deal with this. Basically, you can open it with OpenGL. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm not going to explain OpenGL because I don't have time or really a huge amount of knowledge. So, obviously, the other way you can get it to get KSP, not to use less memory, but to be able to use as much memory as you want, is to use KSP x64, which is the 64-bit version of KSP, as you can see here. However, a lot of people say this is unstable. I do find it's unstable. Um, especially with mods, and that's the thing. You're probably going to want to do this if you're using mods. If you're not, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so if you're using a lot of mods, and a lot of them don't even work with KSP 64-bit, you can just use KSP 34-bit, opening it in OpenGL. And I'm going to talk through this a bit because it has advantages and quite big disadvantages, as I will explain. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is find your KSP folder. Um, whichever, wherever it might be. Mine's in um, my Steam Apps Commons um, Kerbal Space Program folder. I also have a few more, but I'm going to do it here because this is my base game. You'll then get... Oh, you, ah, God, I'm terrible at talking today. Anyway, you're going to want to locate um, just the KSP application, not the X64 because that's kind of pointless and wouldn't really help anything. Um, so you're going to want to locate KSP. Um, and then you, you right-click on it um, and you create shortcut. Ah, uh, see, so you have here your KSP shortcut. Then you go into Properties, um, I believe. Um, and then we find Target right here. Um, and then after all of this, after it's um, Target, right outside of the, um, outside of the um, quotation marks, or just outside of the address, you put a space, dash, force, and then another dash, then open, oh crap, spell that wrong, open, GL. And that's, that's it. It'll now open with OpenGL. So, I will now open this in OpenGL. Um, this, oh, I'll probably have to cut this out, because the load time isn't really improved. Um, I'd just like to say that, yeah, the load time isn't really improved, um, because it's memory, it's not really saving that, although less has to be loaded, loaded into memory, but in my experience, it's not amazing. And this isn't loading particularly quickly at all, that is... Wonderful, there we go. Not responding. Um, that's probably just a lot of the mods I have installed. I don't have a huge amount of mods in this, but I have a few because I thought, well, I might as well, because I wouldn't really bother doing this without mods. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to cut this out now because you don't want to see KSP loading because it takes a long time. Well, after the eternity that is the KSP load time, I am back and we are in uh, OpenGL version of KSP, and I'm going to show you how much memory it is using via Task Manager. Um, right, you can see here, maybe, if... Okay, I might have to zoom in, and I'm not sure. Anyway, you can see here um, that this is now using about 1.5 mega... Well, megabytes, 1.5 gigabytes of memory, which is very good. That is much less than usual KSP works, and I'll probably put, like, a thing on screen that shows you what KSP without OpenGL users. So if you have a very if you're very limited in memory or have something running in the background, this may be may be a good idea. I am however gonna show you the problem with this. Um you can almost kinda see it here. There is Ah, well, um well you'll see that there is a little bit of lag. It doesn't it doesn't run as smoothly as what it runs with before. Not oh no! Did I open that? Oh that's such a full save. Yeah, this is a very old save. Um it's probably gonna be lots of Oh no, this was a stock save, so it won't be lots of stuff yelling at me to have better stuff. Alright, um, I'll just load something onto the pad. Uh, Kerbal X, because we know what Kerbal X is. 78 parts in 9 stages. Alrighty, Roo. Let's load this onto the pad, and I will show you how not amazingly it runs. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, because of its not such great running, um, 
it's debatable whether this is really useful. So I kind of roped you into this without really telling you um, how well it runs. However, I tested this with a different save, so I think it might run a little better. Yeah, not great running time. Uh, what? Damn, I'm not using Fraps, I'm using OBS. I don't know the frame rate, but it's not great. You can see this doesn't run amazingly. Um, this is because OpenGL does things in different ways. Uh, Minecraft, for instance, uses OpenGL, and you know, we all know how terribly that runs. Um, but yeah, so the actual usability of this is debatable um, because you get more memory. Well, you get you know you get as much memory as you need, but um, but it doesn't run as well, and it's not running terribly. Um, not running great. I do have a fairly nice PC, but I reckon if you have a lower end PC which is more limited by memory than it is by I don't know, video uh, by by its video card. This could be, you know, potentially very useful. And Bob Fitch, as I have mentioned, he does use this, and his KSP seems to run pretty fine. So it might just be me. Um, but yeah, so this has been a little little tutorial on how to halve the memory used by KSP because it's, well, it's a bit of a memory grab because of, well, I don't know, Unity or just terribleness. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful. I hope you go and check out Bob Fitch's YouTube channel. This has been KSP with Dave. I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,